Hello, Cancer. Welcome, welcome. See what your vision quest is. Spirit, spirit, spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What are the messages for Cancer and all those who love Cancer? Spirit, spirit, spirit. Please surround us with the warm, white, loving light of God. Please give us clear, loving messages. Please give us God giving guidance for the highest good of all. Please surround us with the warm, white, loving light of God. Shield us from those who love us. To do us harm. Please give messages to cancer and all those who love cancer. Thank you, 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 thank Vision. Perfection. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Spirit, what are the messages for cancer and all those who love cancer? Spirit, 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 please provide us with warm, white, loving light. Warm, white, loving light of God, please protect us. Please give us light giving guidance for the highest good of all. For cancer, for cancer. Spirit, thank you, thank you, thank you. What are the messages for cancer and all those things? Spirit, spirit, spirit. What are the messages for cancer and all those who love cancer? Please provide us with the warm light, loving light of God. Please give us God giving guidance for the highest good of all for cancer and all those who love cancer. Whoa! Okay. Spirit, 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 please provide us God-given guidance for the highest good of all. What are the messages for cancer and all those who love cancer? What are the messages for cancer and all those who love, love cancer? And we, oh, that one wanted to fall out. Oh, I haven't like, I'm not looking. It's a mystery to me as much as it is to you. Spirit, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, angels. What are the messages for cancer? And all those who love cancer. Angels, what are the messages for cancer? And all those who love cancer. And my charms, let's see. This is a very Cancerian card. It's kind of like a yin and yang, like two people coming together, two elements coming together. You see a pink uh, part of the rock here and then a white part over here. And it's like they fit in to each other perfectly. So what one doesn't have, the other has. And it's not quite like a missing piece like it's not quite like you are looking for your other half and then you find your other half it's like being whole and finding another someone who is whole it's like two holes who merge into something better than themselves it's not like a you complete me type of energy. It's more like a you enrich my life, you add to my life, you multiply my life. Like a complementary element. A I don't have this, but you do type of element. So we work together in that way. Like if you, this wanted to come out, meaning 
Um, if you have a partner, whether you work with them or whether you, um, hold on, whether you work with them or whether you are, whether this is a romantic relationship, it's like if you are a good cop, bad cop, like, if one person is the comic relief and the other person is um, more of the serious character, it's like you both work together because you are um, the yin and yang of each other. I know it took way too long to explain that. <laughs> okay, this one I wanted to. Industry. Okay. So, the first card we have is... The Five of Wands, and the Five of Wands is about competition usually. Here we see a man who is looking at a brick wall and wants to take that rubber mallet to that brick wall. We see a lot of growth on the side of this wall, a lot of ivy trying to, um, like a lot of overgrowth on this wall, a lot of ivy trying to basically take over this wall. And you want to penetrate this too. You want to bust through this wall. So you might be feeling a blockage and you want to break through and it's causing you some anxiety. And part of the blockage might have something to do with either not having the right partner, like being whole within yourself, but not having that element of you know, the other side to make you better than what you are. Let's see what this other card has to say. This is the Page of Cups. You could be dealing with another Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Um, the Page of Cups talks about a message of love. You could be wanting to give a message of love, trying to break through this wall, having anxiety about it. So you could be the one trying to give a message of love, or you could be... On the other side of this wall, you could be, I feel like you're trying to break through this wall. And this might have been either a wall you put up yourself or a wall that the other person you're dealing with has put up. But it's causing you some anxiety and you want to offer this cup, cup of love. You want to have this... hot air balloon in the sky. It's a really sweet card. But you're not sure how to do it. And I think part of this anxiety might be that there is some distraction involved. There's some sort of heavy lifting you're going to have to do. Let's continue to door number two. So door number two is the Knight of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles reversed is like slow as a slug movement. It's like inching, like <sighs> shit or get off the pot type of movement. It's like, come on with it already, but it's taking too much of your time. It's over analyzing every detail. Not in a like anxiety kind of way, but more of a practical logistics type of way. Like upright, this is a man who is carrying a gift to a woman. And the knights a lot of times are like romantic, um, romantic symbols for me, but they're also just like, um, offers like the page is a message and the night is an offer so you want to offer this gift you want to offer this thing of value to someone else but you're moving at a snail's pace if you are not moving at a snail's pace it could be this person that has put up the walls and has blocked you it could be you know that you're trying to get past this door trying to get past this barrier and that's what's being slow 
You might be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn, but this is someone who is, things are moving so slowly. And this is someone from your past. It doesn't have to be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but it's someone from your past who has put up these walls and is moving very slowly. But there is meaning in it. This is my 1111 <laughs> symbol because five and six make up 11. And 1111 for me, I always say with God, all things are possible. So it's like a hope, a wish. The vision you have for yourself. Maybe you're thinking about someone from the past. You want to offer them meaning. You want to offer them value. You want to give them this message of love. But there's something that's causing you to move very slowly. Next we have the Ten of Wands. And the Ten of Wands is... In the traditional um, Rider weight deck, it is a man who is carrying 10 wands up a hill, and it's like back-breaking. And he's so exhausted. He's been carrying these wands forever. They're heavy. He's ready to throw in the towel, but the message is to persevere. In this deck, it is a man who seems trapped in a building people are walking by he's screaming hey help me this girl little girl is like giggling at him and mocking him <laughs> these people don't care and so maybe he's locked inside the building but again it's the struggle and it's like it's funny because it's like this could be on the other side of this door let me see I feel like this could be the other person you're dealing with and the other side of this door where this person thinks they're being transparent, thinks everyone can see them, and is like screaming for help but you can't see what's behind the door. Interesting. So like a, um, what do they call that? Like a a double mirror or a um, it's like the police mirrors where one side is glass and the other side is um, the people can see into like the police lineup hmm interesting so interesting interesting we also have industry so could be something to do with work. You have the Knight of Pentacles here, which is usually like a job offer. So maybe you're waiting on that job offer. You're waiting for um, a job from the past that gave you a lot of meaning to your um, life and gave you a vision for the future. And you're getting anxiety about it, about it because they don't seem to be transparent. So this could be industry, but also industry, if this is a love reading, could be about fine-tuning your machine. So that's why this is, why this might be taking so long, is you are recalibrating yourself and getting yourself like fine-tuned for this person on the other side to break through this barrier. And the Five of Swords right here, the Five of Swords is about debate and conflict. Sometimes it's inner conflict. Sometimes it's like exchange of words between two people. So it's about fights. But whenever it's re reversed, it's like everyone's putting down their sword. And you kind of realize that you needed conflict to get to a better place. Like to make changes that both of you needed. So actually, this conflict led to perfection because it led to... making this relationship or making your job run like a fine-tuned machine. It's like trials and tribulations, trial by error, 
and all of these things that were seemingly at odds were actually a way to improve things within yourself, improve things within a relationship, improve things within a job. So let's see your journey. Your journey is upside down rescue. And we see a woman here standing at the top of a waterfall. And we have another hot air balloon like the one here. My parents, um, my parents did hot air balloon chasing when I was a kid and I always wanted to go. I was too young. I stopped doing it by the time I was old enough, but I still want to ride in a hot air balloon. I've never been. And, but they were beautiful. Oh, and it was so, um, it was just such a unique experience because, you know, it's Oklahoma and it would be this flat land. And like you can see the horizon from all sides. It's like super flat. And it's just this endless land with these hot air balloons laying on the ground. And they look all dead, but you, you know, spray this fire into them. You get this gas going and then they come back to life and they go up into the sky. Anyway, let's see what rescue says. Forty-one, and it was reversed, so I'm going to read the whole thing. Rescue. You are always safe and secure and free to be yourself. So no need to have this anxiety to break through the wall. Be your whole self. Okay. Asking for help isn't easy for many successful people. However, that's what you need to do now as you expand your life. Hold on, let me reread that. Asking for help isn't easy for many successful people. However, that's what you need to do now to expand your life. If you find yourself troubled, you can expect help with whatever issue is at hand now. You need only ask and assistance will come your way. The most important support you can expect is from spirit. Get into the right relationship with the divine and you'll see that many conditions line up as if by magic to provide you with all the help you need. Ask and you sh will receive. There is no need to fear. Safety is a place within. So you have this anxiety about, about breaking through to the other side. But if you ask for help, then help should be given. It's all about asking, ask and receive. Let's see what it says upside down. Are you trying to rescue another? Do you believe your love can change someone and miraculously heal this person? Or are you waiting to be rescued? Do you believe that someone will sweep you off your feet and take away all your troubles? Reverse the rescue card cautions you against romanticizing your situation right now. Look closely and see reality as it is rather than the illusion of how you'd like it to be. You need to step back and rescue yourself. Trust that spirit will guide you to expose the illusion that is that you may discern the difference between truth and reality. So it's interesting. It's like I said that this person is clear and transparent and I do see a rescue element in this story. I see, you know, you wanting to rescue someone on the other side of this, but and not being clear how to do that. I see a rescue here in, hey, I saved the day, I brought resources, I brought you a gift. And I see someone who is waiting to be rescued on the other side of this. But I also see, because the Ten of Wands reversed, it's like perseverance has paid off. And so... I don't see anxiety within this person who's waiting, but I don't see anxiety with this person who is trapped in the upright. I see someone who has rescued themselves and is waiting 
like is waiting for a rescue too. Like even though they've rescued themselves, even though they've persevered, it's like they're just waiting for the door to open. Okay, and our angel, you have the angel Aurora. You are flying high right now, which may threaten others, but don't descend because, because others will soon become inspired by your example. So if you are in the process of saving yourself, of rescuing yourself, and of fine-tuning your life, then it only means that you're advancing to a higher level within yourself. Like I said before, I stayed on this message, but it's two whole people coming together as one. So as you fine tune yourself, as you rescue yourself, as you fly high, that's you being whole. Like whatever challenges you had to face, whatever solitude you had to experience, whatever pain you suffered, it made you into this whole person. It made you who you are. Like you wouldn't be if there, if there was if it was perfect, then it wouldn't be real. Right? Let me see if I'm getting any. Oh, I was going to read the. I've been reading them upright too. To see. Mm -hmm. Any conflict that there may have been, it was transparent conflict and it was easy to solve. And. This asking for help, this guy is asking for help. This guy would be easily solved, would be easily unburdened, untrapped. If he just asked for help and if he received help. I think that's all the messages, Cancer. Um, I really appreciated reading for you. It was a beautiful reading, and I love you very much. I hope to see you again soon. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.